Hello, and welcome to Box Office Tally. I'm Carl DiIorio of The Hollywood Reporter. We have four new releases to tell you about this week, and the one that's probably going to be the top grocer of the pack, and indeed probably of the weekend, is Sony's suspenseful Obsessed, whose cast includes Beyonce, yes, the singer turned actress, and because of Beyonce's starring role in Obsessed, it's likely that this picture could skew a bit urban, but it's expected to hit the mid-teens or even high-teen millions, and that should be enough to capture the box office flag this weekend. Then we also have The Soloist. This a DreamWorks produced picture being distributed by Paramount. The Soloist is based on the relationship, the friendship between LA Times columnist Steve Lopez and a street musician who's mentally challenged and his challenges ultimately make for a bittersweet sort of tone in this film that even with a cast topped by Robert Downey Jr. Uh, could make it a little bit tough going in the marketplace, but certainly the uh, backers of The Soloist will be expecting double-digit millions this weekend. Then we have Universal bringing out the drama about bare-knuckled fighting called, what else, Fighting. It's rated PG-13, so that'll help it uh, with some broader appeal. Cast includes Terrence Howard, and we're looking for, again, double-digit millions out of this picture. And then our final wide release is a little bit of an odd bird. Uh, it's called Earth, and so you won't be surprised when I tell you it was actually released on Wednesday, Earth Day. And it's a documentary about Mother Earth, narrated by James Earl Jones. And this is the first of an anticipated series of nature documentaries from Disney, which they're branding as Disney Nature. Going to go out to about 1,800 theaters. That's certainly wide release. So they'll be looking at how the first picture, Earth, uh, takes off in the marketplace and starting to shape their game plan with these nature documentaries uh, thereafter. We also have two important holdover pictures in the marketplace. 17 Again, starring Zac Efron, is sure to do uh, also double-digit millions this weekend. And then Universal will be hoping State of Play, the Russell Crowe uh, thriller, finds its legs and starts to make some of the money that maybe it didn't make over its first weekend. That's how it looks headed into the weekend. Come on back next week. We'll do it again here at Box Office Tally. I'm Carl DiIorio of The Hollywood Reporter.